Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of testing kayaks with Alex. We're right here on the water, as you can see, testing the brand new big water EPDL 132 from Old Town. This is a boat that is a pedal drive kayak that has a motor on it. I don't know if you remember my video about pedal kayaks being dead. Well, this is not exactly a pedal drive kayak. It's a motorized pedal drive kayak, and that means awesomeness. Okay, what are the rules? Oh, no rules, man. Go as fast as you can for as long as you can. Let's start with no motor assist. You're more athletic than I am. Plus you got your a breath as I didn't. Just setting up the, you know, All right. the uh, scenario here. You ready, Ryan? I'm ready. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Should we make this easy and give me like a little bit of... Sure. See, this is it's your fault. I'm always using the autopilot, so I'm out of shape because of you. <laughs> it's my fault. It's your fault. <laughs> ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. Oh, I could. I already know I lost. <laughs> hey, let's keep this fair, you know. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 keep going. Just making this fair. Are you easy? Yeah. You're on you. I am, but I'm getting tired. Are you speed five? Yeah. I'm. I'm going ahead of you, and I'm tired. Control five. You got a pedal? Huh? Until that stops blinking. <laughs> I can keep up, but I'm tired. <laughs> hey, it's up to that boat over there. Yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah. You're slacking. I can't believe this, bro. Zero effort. I'm, I'm working hard on making sure I go straight. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You slowing down already? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> bro, come on, man. Seriously. Uh, yeah <laughs> Keep up bro, come on I don't have all day bro I hit something A log, there you go Whew. Seriously? See ya! Why are you just messing with me? <laughs> Literally there is a wake behind me! You see that? I could pedal if I want. I could just let it be in cruise control. So if you get tired, if you find a current, you get tired, just let go. I'm not gonna pull you back. It's gonna keep going. Does it feel heavier than the regular one? Yes, it has a little bit more resistance than the standard big water PDL when you're pedaling it manually. Yeah because of what's going on inside the gears yeah that's why I, I wasn't able to keep up with you until i turned it on you know where there's a snook right there on the beach get it this is interesting i want to see what it takes for the motor to shut off
Well guys, it's very windy here. You can see the American flag. All the wind is flying over here. So what we got here is basically a big water 132 PDL with an electric motor. This is essentially the same kayak. Well, there's some differences. And we did a full walkthrough, so you should go check that out after you finish this video so you know what changed. But basically you got everything that you get with a PDL drive. You got forward motion, reverse right here. It takes a little longer because it has an engine in there. So the gears are different, but you could go in reverse. Easy. And you don't even have to use the motor ever if you don't want to. But the reason why you get this boat, the reason why you pay so much money for it is because you want to use the engine. So the cool thing about this boat is if you get tired, you could just turn the engine on. But let's just give you a quick test. Four, five miles an hour. Five miles an hour. You probably could hit six if you do it really hard. But let's say five, five and a half. I don't want to like super tire myself. So I'm going to turn here. And then we're going to go in reverse. Let's just go slow. See what we get. Like... This is cruising speed, you can maintain it for hours and hours. We're getting three miles an hour and we're fighting the wind, three miles an hour. And let's say you need to go in reverse quick. Well, you still have the reverse right here. You just go in reverse, it takes a minute, but at least you're not, you stop your forward motion and you go in reverse, not using the motor at all. Now, while you click on this video, let's do a complete water demo with the motor i got my kill switch right here i'm gonna turn the engine on old town just follow the screen and then you know what i don't want to hit anything let's go in reverse here <laughs> the motor does not work in reverse but it works in forward motion and let's go check that out right now give it one and you hear that sound that means the motor, the pedal assist, engage. Maybe you need just a little extra kit. See how fast we're going like this. Four miles an hour, five miles an hour. Let's say you need more. Put it at two. Four miles an hour, but less effort. Say you wanna do three. A lot less effort, and you're getting that three, four, four miles an hour let's just go five at five you're gonna have to move fast your feet if you want the boat to really engage and we're gonna do a full high speed test pretty soon but like you got different levels depending on your cadence if you want to go slow and you just need that little bit of side kit and you do one or two if you really want to crank it up because you need to get out of the way man you know i'm tired i think i deserve a break and we have a motor why not use just the motor we're gonna go cruise control right here it's about to engage it's engaged right now we're at speed number two let's bring it down to speed one see how fast we go we're fighting current and wind says right here two miles an hour let's put speed three let's go all out you had a long day you caught a lot of fish just when i go back home you don't want to keep pedaling you did all the exercise you need needed to do that day what do you do just put the motor on cruise control and just go back to your place let's say four miles an hour let's say right here See that? You see why? I needed that extra boost of speed. I just engaged the pedal. I got tired. I got out of the way. Stop pedaling. The pedal stops. The boat keeps going. And I don't know if you would appreciate this, but like a lot of you guys talk about, hey, uh, I like the pedal drive kayaks because I get to exercise and I don't like motors. 
because what I mean kayaking is for exercising well now you have both built in you got a pedal drive kayak if you want to work out and feel as tired as I am right now or you have the motor just to take you you could do both and the beautiful thing about this is that when you get tired and you want to relax you want to kick back really enjoy your drink without moving like without doing this wow you know man i'm not even i'm not moving my feet at all that much the pedal assist just it works dude it works well this is great man but i want to enjoy my drink nicely and here's the thing I wanted to test the speeds with uh, my my phone but I don't think I'm getting accurate readings so we're gonna wait to get one of these boats hopefully we get one and we really put it through its paces and I really get like a real fish finder and test the speeds and everything else but but watch this But you say, you say, oh yes. What happens if you're gonna hit something? What happens if you're gonna hit the dog? See? If you pedal in reverse, the motor stops. And you go in reverse. And you don't hit the dock. That's beautiful right there. And I have used it a lot today. I was fishing, had the motor on one just fishing around the mangroves and I had to stop for whatever reason stop the motor just going reverse another way that you could turn the motor off it's easy just pull the kill switch kills the motor when the motor is off you have to press hard this button until the screen shows up press another button and then you get to use the I have a cruise control is engaged right now so <laughs> I don't see why you need to do this but you could also kill the motor by disconnecting it right here. Boom, it will shut off. So if you hit a rock or you hit something, the motor will kick out and it stop working. So you got a lot of fail safe. But if you get stuck in the mud, like really stuck, the prop is not moving at all and for whatever reason you don't think of pulling the kill switch like you, you don't like whatever the motor will shut off once the prop cannot continue to move so you're not gonna destroy this you just want to relax enjoy the weather smell the ocean it's so nice so nice that you have both like if you want to work out you have to drive you can use it this boat I've been wanting a boat that could go offshore and I didn't want to have like just a motor kayak to go offshore because if I run out of battery the motor glitches something like that like I want to paddle and I don't want to be paddling offshore so what is the solution to my problems is this now this is not my favorite hole because this boat is huge but the second stability is not as strong as other boats just be mindful that if you lean too much on this boat you're gonna you're gonna fall you're gonna flip over you're gonna fall something's gonna happen the autopilot dude it's really hard to flip that boat but here's the thing i'm confident of taking this boat offshore because if i flip I know that this thing is waterproof. I just flip it back up and keep going. All the connections, everything is waterproof. So that's epic. But what this will allow me to do is not be worried about going offshore. I personally have nightmares, for lack of a better term, of going offshore. 
the first time I took a kayak offshore, I had a lifetime kayak, paddle kayak, it was a tank. I let the current take me. I had to paddle back for hours non-stop because every time I did this, stop paddling or stop pedaling, and it will the current will take me back. But with this, look, if I'm fighting current, go like this. If I get tired, just stop, drink. The boat keeps going. And now what you have is redundancy. Not only you have a battery that will last for three full hours at maximum speed if you go all out, but if that gets exhausted or the motor doesn't work for whatever reason, you still have the pedal drive time. And if all that fails, you still have a paddle. But for all this to fail, I mean, you ha it has to really be your lucky day. Will this replace my autopilot? I don't think so. I don't think so because the autopilot is just pure amazingness. But will this replace my autopilot if I'm going offshore? Yeah. Yeah, because let's say we have a two miles an hour current right now. And it's coming this way. Right? And you want to work that current. You want to stay in position. And you want to fish. You just put a speed one. And it's going to maintain you in position you gotta match the current i'm fishing at speed one dude this battery will last like 40 hours or something like that you know why because it's an amp outdoors lithium battery the best lithium battery you could buy with your dollars dude and use coupon code alice five so you save yourself five percent because you're gonna need another battery to run your fish finder this boat comes with a battery already so you don't have to source your battery but you do need batteries for fish finders, like I just said, and whatever other boat you have. What I'm thinking of here, if I do get one of these boats for the channel, is that it's gonna stay with me. And I have that in the autopilot. And this boat, the, one of the beautiful thing is, I could have my son on the autopilot. And if I need to chase to him quick, I'm able to do that. Because I could fight current. I could fight what about weather with this boat and that's just epic one question that you may have is man that thing is loud because you hear the gears it's gonna spook fish not really because the sound is above the water the motor is above the water it's not like a trolling motor that the sound of the motor basically the motor is underwater and it's making that sound like the base B or the torpedo or a trolling motor all those motors the head of the motor the motor itself is underwater so it's creating the sound underwater the sound that you hear is above the water from this watercraft that makes it less noisy than the autopilot but god my best catches have been on motorized kayaks. This idea that the sound of the engine is gonna spook fish is just a bad idea. It's just people who, who just wanna say, oh, you know what? I don't get a motorized kayak because it's spook fish. I think the sound that this motor, the blade makes is less spooky than this sound. And you could go very stealthy, but you're still making noise. Still putting a blade on the water, making noise. I hope that rests the case of the sound.